What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and welcome back to the finale of every single 4 star photo and request in new Pokemon Snap. We're finally here! It's been 14 episodes, 12 full levels and 2 legendary specials. And then we are finally doing the very last level in new Pokemon Snap, which is obviously unlocked right before the very end of the game. It does include the last Illumina boss and the final boss of the game. Uh, I just want to thank everyone who's used these guides. It means a lot to me. I know this wasn't the most popular game, but you know what? I enjoyed it thoroughly, and that's all that matters. The love and support from you guys on the comment section, and just... I appreciate you appreciating me. We appreciate each other. It works out well that way. And hopefully, once we come to, to BDSP and Legends, the Pokemon games are going to be a little bit more popping. And I'm also going to be covering Skyward Sword. Between now and Skyward Sword, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe try to enjoy summer. In today's episode, we're covering all of these Pokemon. All the Pokemon in, in Aurorus, which includes Houndoom, Edelgoss, Natu, Absol, Salandit, Noivern, Wubat, Cyglyph, Behemoth, Behemoth, I don't know how to say its name, Golurk, Chandler, Umbreon. I'm going to be doing a fair mention for Xerneas, and one quick note about Jirachi. I feel like I should just get Jirachi out of the way now. In my legendary video, I know that the request says something about a rock. Yeah, this image right here about some some weird rock, it's just made to represent that across from where that is, that's where Jirachi is. You wake up Jirachi, and then you do my method for the four-star photo, and that completes Myth of the Ruins. So, if you followed that guide, you, you already got the request. Great. There are two things that we need to do on level one. That's going to involve Natu's four-star photo, Natu's request, and also, well, there's an optional, optional four-star photo that we could get here that I just prefer and I'm gonna show you. So we're just going to zoom me up a little bit. Thanks, Houndoom, you're very scary. You're a very scary pupper. These ancient ruins over here, you're going to throw an apple toward like the top part. There you go. Natu's gonna hop out. Natu's going to perch upon the apple. You're going to take that photo. That is the photo you need. Great. Anytime Natu is perched upon this apple, that is going to be a four star photo and completion of the quest just perching here. You could obviously get a lot closer like I did right here. I think I could get a little bit closer because I could just kind of throw the apple anywhere or after I boop the wall, I could just throw down an additional apple and it'll always target, target the newest apple so I could get him much closer for that, that platinum photo. Making our way inside of the hole, you're going to be seeing... There he is. You're going to be seeing our homeboy Noiver, Noivern. When he stops moving, you're going to orb him. And he's going to do this crazy supersonic stuff. Great, we're done here. This Noivern photo, anytime it's doing this crazy psychic or sound wave move, that's going to be a four-star photo as well. And the Noivern, oh look, better than the last one. Glad I'm making these videos. Fantastic, for the rest of the video, we're only doing level three or max level for the rest of the photos. This one isn't that bad because there's only 12 Pokemon, 13 including Jirachi. 13 Pokemon that we're doing, however, four of, five of them, their request is not their four star photo, so it feels like we're covering a little bit more than we normally do. Okay, so I actually just did like 13 of them in a single run, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be able to chop it up clean enough to have all the independent events make sense. So we're gonna go through this a little bit slower than actually necessary. You can get almost all these in a single run. First of all, I want to boop the ancient ruins back here and that's going to lure out Natu. If we look to the left, you're gonna see this Houndoom. And this Houndoom at random times is going to yawn. And if he yawns, you need a photo of that. This Natu, when it is done eating, you wanna boop him. And if you time it right, this Edelgoss will release its spores while the Natu passes because it is quote unquote healing it. This Edelgoss, when it is releasing the cotton spores upon Natu, that is going to be a four star photo and completion of the quest blowing seeds. The Edelgoss may randomly choose to use its seeds on Natu, not this one, but the one closer to where it first lands, depending on the location of your apple. And then it may also walk over to near the hole that you go in. If neither of those work, you can boop the Natu and it's going to run past this one and then cause this to happen. So one of those three things should work for you. Great. Houndoom still hasn't given me the yawn photo, but I'm going to feed it. Actually, he already got fed. After Houndoom eats, Absol is going to spawn in because Absol is hungry for apples. You need to feed Absol, and while it is eating, that is a photo that you need. 
When Absol is eating the fluff fruit, that is going to be completion of the quest, a white Pokemon. This Absol is not related to the Absol that we are going to be dealing with later. That it's the wrong animation, that's that's the head nuzzle. Instead, you need the yawn. So we're just gonna wait for a subsequent run. It's one of its idle animations. All right, so for this Noivern, we are now going to play music. It's going to hear the music and it's going to walk away, which is fine. Now, we are going to throw apples inside of here. And as soon as Noivern comes up, it's going to call in Salandit. That's what the apples are for. Salandit now shows up. It's gonna look left and right. And then he is going to be calling in Umbreon because Umbreon, spoilers, hungry for apples. You wanna take a photo of Umbreon in that pose coming out of that area. As we come down here, you're gonna see an Absol which is independent from the previous Absol. You need to boop him. And then he's going to run off and we're gonna see him at the end of the course to go meet up with Umbreon. Great. Now, we're gonna come across this Umbreon. This Umbreon will not be here if you did not get it out of that area with the Salanda before. Umbreon is woken up, and then this Absol, who's the one that was on top of the branch before, is gonna come down and they are going to interact. You need that photo of Umbreon and that photo of Absol. Because this is not for a quest, you could just do one single zoom in photo of both of them and get a really good one. You don't need a group photo, which is pretty awesome. When the Absol is interacting with Umbreon, that is going to be a four star photo. When Umbreon is coming out of this hallway, that is going to be a one-star photo and completion of the quest fading into shadows. In addition, when Umbreon is interacting with Absol, that is going to be a four-star photo. That's a really good one. Anytime Absol is discussing politics with Umbreon, that's going to be a four-star photo for you. And that's already a 5,000 point. That's beautiful. As you see right there in that bottom left, when it's eating a fluff fruit, that's your three-star photo. Umbreon in the same scene with Absol, that's also going to be a four-star photo and an easy 5,000 points. Next, you're going to look at this well right here. You're going to throw in one apple. You can throw up to five apples for five Wubat to come out. And then your sixth apple is actually going to get you a really good Magikarp photo. These Wubat are then going to go over the wall over there and you just need a photo of them on the wall. These Wubat over here, you just need a photo of them on the wall and that's it. Shh. The Wubat, when they are on the wall, that is going to be a three star photo and completion of the quest, the Mysterious Heart. This Magikarp is a two star photo and there we go, finally got to Crystal on it. Woobat, any time that they are on the wall, that is going to complete the quest and be a three-star photo. While the Woobat are flying over there, if we look to the left, we're going to see a Psyglyph. You need a photo of it sleeping, and we're going to boop him to wake him up. Then you're going to boop him again so he becomes aware of you. Nope. Instead, he's just going to eat the apple. That's actually what you want, because right now it's doing a happy animation. Sometimes it does an alarm animation, and then it takes a while, so... Good luck, I don't know exactly what causes the alarm animation. Cyglyph, while it is sleeping, that is going to be completion of its quest that I did not write down the name of. Why did I not write down the name of this? The quest entitled, A Break Between Patrols. And after it wakes up and then consumes a fluff fruit, it's going to dance back and forth super happy. That's going to be a four star photo. Try to get it with it facing you like that. Actually, because this is bigger, it might be better. Cyglyph, whenever it is dancing after it eats, that's going to be your four star photo. Uh, why did I lose on this? Was direction really that bad? Direction was really bad. Oh, and pose points. So yeah, try to get it mid animation and try to get it facing you. Entering the main ruin area, you're gonna see one behemoth over here and there's gonna be another one right across from where Jirachi is perched. You need to boop him and you need to boop the other one. And then that's going to spawn in all the Golurk later on. We're going to see them later. And here is our second Behemoth. We just need to boop him. And then he is going to signal to the Golurk. And then you're going to see Golurk fly in from outside, which is pretty awesome. Now, I do recommend turboing here a little bit. And I've heard some people say that you need to orb this Golurk for this photo to count. Oh, by the way, randomly, you're going to see Behemoth floating while it's sleeping. Take that. That's a quest. So now you need to focus on the floating Golurk and the other Golurk needs to be in frame for a photo. And that is all we are going to do on this run. I say that's all we're gonna do, but it was like half. 
Anytime that you see the Behemoth floating around sleeping, that is going to be a four star photo and completion of the quest, Drowsing Behemoth. Anytime that the Golurk has its rocket feet, I thought there was an exact term for Golurk being in its rocket form. I'm now looking on Bulbapedia and I don't think there is. Anyways, you need to have a photo of it with that Golurk in the frame. And that's going to be, well, one, a four star photo, but two, also it is going to complete the quest it's not just called to go lurk. Uh, oh, it is just called to go lurk. Okay, complete the quest to go lurk. Behemoth, anytime that it is sleeping on its back flying, that's your four star photo. Go lurk, anytime that its feet are in rocket mode, that's a four star photo. But as long as it has the other go lurk in the frame, that's going to be your completion of the quest to go lurk. Everything was better about this. Nice. Now that we've already taken care of Natu and Edelgoss's things in the beginning. Now we could just focus on this one hound doom. I'm just going to zoom in to slow down and generally try to face behind me so I slow down more and wait till it yawns. That's it. Just wait till it yawns. There we go. Thanks, pupper. That's all you have to do. The Hound Doom, anytime that he is a sleepy boy, that's going to be a three star photo and completion of the quest Hound Doom's Breather. However, Hound Doom's four star photo is actually going to be in the Illumina spot, so we are going to see him later. Oh, that one was much better. Not surprised at all. Oh, before when I was talking about that Edelgoss that can heal the Natu as soon as it spawns in, I'm talking about that Edelgoss, and then if I look behind me, that one right there. Okay, for Chandelure, we just need to interact with it a little bit as soon as we start to come down this cliff face, and all you need to do is orbit. So if you look back at this wall, you're gonna eventually see Chandelure chilling over here, right? Here is Chandelure. All you have to do is orbit. Fantastic, we're gonna see it at the end of the level. Making our way to the end of the course, we're gonna see the Chandelure over here. This can be a little bit temperamental. You need to feed the Chandelure, but for some reason, it has the worst aim. Meanwhile, I get it the first try, great. <laughs> it's gonna do a spin to the right and a spin to the left. Then we're going to orbit, and then it is going to do another spin, and a second half of that, play music at the end of that, and you're gonna get a third unique animation where it has its arm out. It having its arm out is the animation that you need. For Chandelure, anytime it has its hand out like that, doing that animation, that's gonna be your four star photo, and wow. That's 2,000, 925, 1,000. Almost a perfect photo. And also completion of the quest, Groovy Chandelure. Next up, I want to focus on Salandit. Right before we do that though, if we look over here, there's a Wubat on the wall. You're probably gonna wanna take a picture of it being disgruntled. That's a photo that you're gonna need and you're gonna wanna scan it and then it's gonna do a supersonic back at you. That is a four star photo. Wubat, uh, you, you probably need the two star photo of it being booped, but anytime that it is then doing that supersonic move back at you, that is a four star photo and we already did the quest. And Salandit's picture is a little difficult with the angle. You see this circle over here? That's where you need to throw some fluff fruit. We're going to throw some apples right here in the middle, and that is going to call us a landed. So landed is now over here. If we look to the right, we now see a Neuvern. A Neuvern is like, mmm, I'm hungry for apples. You want to picture a Neuvern in the air? Great, unzoom out, focus on Salandit, and if you get a picture of Salandit shooting the poison gas, because it has corrosion, and then also Neuvern in the same photo, that is what you need. Neuvern, anytime that it is swooping down or gliding down, that is going to be completion of the quest gracefully gliding and a four star photo. Salandit, oh, we did get the photo, wow. Yeah, you need a picture of Salandit doing poison gas to Neuvern and Neuvern in the photo, which I previously got here and that's probably gonna be rated better. And that's what you need for a four star photo and completion of Salandit's quest, Salandit's battle plan. It should be worth noting that you can do this much earlier on the path and get a close up of Salandit after you completed the quest or before or just on a different run because you don't actually need the Neuvern in the picture for the four star photo. So yeah, redo that by closer up. Salandit, so oh, it's better in every way except for size and still only 100 points higher. So like I said, just, just do it again after you complete the quest for the zoom in on Salandit for the much better photo. And we are all done. We're done with the cave. I already made the video on Jirachi and I stated what I had to say in regard to its quest, Myth of the Ruins. And I already covered Xerneas's four-star photo and its quest. 
Power of Xerneas. However, we need to do the Power of Xerneas to get Houndoom's four star photo. So that's what we're gonna go do again. Soon as we start off the course, we are just going to fast forward. You do not need to interact with the ball of light in this room at all. Just keep turboing. Once we make our way to our lake, you're gonna see the ball of light pass by you. You could try to assertively throw orbs. You might get lucky and hit it. Might, big might. Did that hit? Oh wow, that hit! Nice! So now Xerneas, it's going to be important that we're going to throw orbs at it, and we need it to glow. Fantastic, it is glowing. We need to boop this Houndoom and wake it up. He has a far boop. I do believe we need to hit him three times. There we go. Maybe just two times, I'm not 100%. Now we need to wake up the other Houndoom as well. Xerneas is in position. By the way, if Xerneas is not facing forward, that means you did not do it right. Fantastic. Now that both Houndooms are awake, you need to lure them to the middle of the room. And we're going to hit the scan button. These Houndooms are then going to start howling. They do need to be in position, though. Xerneas is going to do Geomancy, but you need the picture of the Houndoom doing the actual howl animation. And we are all set here. As I mentioned, while Xerneas is doing Geomancy, that's a four-star photo. Probably don't submit that one <laughs> compared to something as majestic as that, right? And the Houndoom, anytime that it is howling during Geomancy, that is your four-star photo. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I submit this photo, I'm going to get a reward for having all the four-star photos. I think that's a thing. Not a thing. What? No way. No way! So I've gone through my photo decks and I have submitted, of course, because this entire series, a four-star photo of every single Pokemon in the entire game, right? All 214 of them. Know that there's at least like five Pokemon that I'm missing a two or a three star of, so I probably just need to do those. And then there's going to be an award for having every rank photo of every Pokemon in the game. So let me just come up with that real quick. Okay, so I had 11 Pokemon that I did not take their photos for. Most of them were two stars. I had like a one star for Jolteon just because I ran the course so many times and only submitted the good ones. And then a bunch of two stars, which I've learned the lesson for two stars is just boop everything. If a one star is it standing there and a three star is a unique animation and then the two star is always you booping it. So the only thing that I have left for all of my photo decks is a two star Golurk. I figured, you know, I might as well do it here and I'm just going to assume I need to boop a Golurk. <laughs> Hi there, Golurk. I see you walking, right? I'm a boop ya. And he did a little twitch. And was it the boop? Yep, it was definitely the boob. You could even see the apple. I'm just going to submit the apple picture. Because he's hungry for apples. That's why. All right. All right. Fantastic. Complete. And I figured, I, I know this isn't relevant to, you know, all the four-star photos, but you've been along with me this entire time. I might as well just, you know, spent, took a half hour, filled out the photo decks. So now, there it is. There it is. You completely filled all the Pokemon data in your photo decks by registering photos in every category from one to four stars. There we go. There we go, everyone. I hope this series of videos was helpful to each and every one of you. If there's some three star photos you're stuck on, I recommend going to Cerebi.net. There's a whole area over there that can help you with the three star photos. Two star photos are booping it. Simple as that. We're done with Snap forever. Gonna take the cartridge out. I bought it digitally. We're gonna take the box, the empty promo box that I have. I'm gonna put it on the shelf and I'm probably never gonna start the game up ever. Except for when the 1.2 patch comes out and then I could do, I think it's the Braviary quest. So if I do not complete it, yeah, Proud Warrior. That's it. I only have one request and that's because it's glitched right now. So there you go. Also, just for just for poops and laughs, if we go to the lab, where am I world ranking on my photo deck score? Turn flight mode off. How do I have flight mode on if I'm using a pro controller? My ranking, my total photo deck score, out of everyone who speaks English, I'm number 562 in the world, 1,100 worldwide. Well, there we go. What's the score of the top people? Four mil. Okay, that's quite a grind. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with Pokemon Snap for 
long time, maybe ever. Well guys, if you found this video series of videos helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next game, Austin John out.